Hey guys and welcome to another reading vlog. I feel like I haven't actually filmed a reading vlog in so long. I'm pretty sure my last one was the first week of September, so it's the first week of October. It's October 1st, so we should update on what we're reading this week so far. I started A Good Idea by Christina Morocco last night. I'm like 30 pages in, not far at all. Don't really know that much about it, kind of going in blind, but all I do know is it's about these two best friends and they have this plan to live together when they go to university because one of them moved away but then right before they're about to go to university one of them dies and her boyfriend is the one who killed her. The police think that his testimony was coerced and that she actually is not dead. She's actually just ran away with another boy. Kind of intrigued by it but 20 pages in and I'm not like dying to pick it up so me. And then the next thing that I'm in the middle of right now, I'm obsessed with so far, and it is The Adventure Zone, Here There Be Gerblins. This is by like a whole bunch of brothers, the McElroy brothers, but it's a graphic novel. And it's like a more mature graphic novel, but it is so funny. It's like a Dungeon and Dragons kind of thing gameplay role-playing thing but it's so funny and I'm really liking it. I was sent this for review by Raincoast Books and First Second so thank you to them. This is the first in the series but apparently there's gonna be more so I'm very excited about it. Probably gonna have a review of it up on my channel at some point so check that out when that happens. I think this is a good look. One pigtail, one braid, very middle school. How do you feel? Very middle school? Preschool. Vlogging again? Yeah! It's a vlogging week? Yes! Because I have nothing to do this week. How do you figure that? Because I just have schoolwork. Balls Falls. Balls Falls are this week? This weekend? Or do you want Saturday because you're working on Sunday? I didn't know it was this weekend. You might need to explain what Balls Falls is. Balls Falls is a festival fall thing. You explained it. <laughs> the fall... Um, Craft show, gathering, music, food. But it means... Candy apples for you. Yes, candy apples. That's the best part. Every year since you were out, oh, probably about six or seven maybe? There's one year you didn't go with me because you were just being a beast, so I went without you. Okay, I was like... 16. Yeah, that was the bad years, okay? Leave the me alone. bad years. <laughs> I totally... Do I know how much mom loves me? Do I know mom? So we were driving to Walmart and mom was saying that I shouldn't be tired because I yawned and that I slept for eight hours. So I was like, oh, check my Fitbit, see how long it uh, says I slept for. And then I realized I wasn't wearing my Fitbit. So I was like, ma'am, we have to turn back and get my Fitbit. And then she was like, okay. And she actually turned oh, back oh, around. Okay. She actually turned back Just around like to go get my Fitbit because I've got to get those steps in, you know, so because. I don't look as lazy as I actually am. And then so mom was like, where is it? And I was like, in my room. And she was like, make sure you take your shoes off before you go up the stairs because it's raining and then my carpet will be wet. And I was like, okay. Did I take my shoes off? No, well, I didn't. She wouldn't because she's like that. <laughs> it takes too long to put them back I on. I hope when you have a house, you live near a mud Not puddle. in this market. Yeah, come over to your house. I'm going to stomp around the mud, and then I'm going to go right up your stairs. Do it. I am going to. That'll make it quirky. Quirky? Yes, eclectic. I won't make it eclectic. That'll make it dirty. I like dirt. I was telling you that we were. I drove by the townhouses, so I decided to look them up, and starting is like 785 for a townhouse. I'm a little like stupid. I, I just, I don't understand how... How young people can do it. But do you know what that means, someone Mom? Has to, someone has to die. <laughs> I get to stay with you forever. You're not going to stay with me forever. You're going to get married and leave and have your Fuck you. No, I'm not. And your fur baby. <laughs> I'm staying with my mommy. And, and you will go as far away as your husband will allow. Ricardo can suck it. <laughs> We're staying at your house. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Oh, 
Where are we? We are at Donut Monster. What did you get? I got an apple fritter. That's that. That's that monstrous thing. Mine is a fruit. Oh no, but apparently the root that's used to make um, root beer with a vanilla bean <laughs> drizzle on top. Apparently she heard root like... beer and went sold. No, I heard root beer float, and I was like, yes, please. First bite. Mm. Verdict. Good. First bite verdict. Good. Good. Fruit beer flow. Oh. Well, you know when you inhale? Yeah. It's so wow. Right? Right. Root beer flow. I like that. Yes. We're spying on Curtis. That's him right there in the little cashier unit. Look at him doing such a good job walking away. Where is he going? Oh, he's coming back. Where's he go? Oh, oh, he's gone. He disappeared. Magic trick. What a good little worker he is getting me my birthday but we can't present. Open it. How does it feel being an employee? Well, then how do you get to <laughs> see? Film in here. Why? How do you Are you going to kick me out? It's like 4 o'clock right now. I have to do some homework. Ricardo's coming over later so, and we're going to make some cookies. And then I have to study for a test that I have on Thursday. And that's pretty much all the plans for today. So I'm going to go do my homework now and wait for Ricardo. <laughs> Tomorrow will be too late to enjoy what you can today. <laughs> Sorry, what? Tomorrow will be too late to enjoy what you can today. Oh, so you're gonna die. No, it means enjoy life to the fullest when you're there, Jay. Nope, you're dead. Bye! <laughs> Jay, so dumb something. No, I'm just a pessimist. There's a yeah. difference. Do I get all your shit if you die? Am I in your will? <laughs> Great coffee. I'm not in your will? Write your will. <laughs> That's what we'll do today. We'll write your will. My little baker. <laughs> what are you making? I'm making <laughs> orange chocolate chunk cookies. You excited? <laughs> Hello. I just start laughing as soon as you start taping. <laughs> Where are we going? Welcome to day two. I'm welcome, bitter because I have to go. Welcome to hell. I have to go to class against my will today. It's raining. I am bitter. I hate my life and I will see you all later. It's one class. I don't care if it's one class or two classes or three classes or four or five or six. I don't like Toronto. I don't want to go. I want to stay home with you, but no. You just want to stay your bed. It has nothing to do with me. I love you. It has nothing to do with me. You want to be cozy <laughs> in your bed thinking that I'm going to bring you food and snacks and drinks. Um, because you do. I hate my life. God, you're, you have a tough. <laughs> As she's being driven to the train station. Because you love me. Such a tough life. I have to get up early for this. I had to get up at 5 o'clock. You didn't have to get yeah, up Yeah, because you were snoring at 4.30 in the morning. Like, I was not. That's a lie. Ask Daddy, and apparently that's, you were talking in your sleep too. Was I? That's what Daddy said. I don't think so. That's what Daddy said. I disagree. Today, it is October 3rd. Mom, where's your pink? It's uh, Wednesday. Pink on my socks. Right here. Okay, acceptable. <laughs> it's Mean Girls Day. Today, we're doing errands. We got wide out. We're gonna go see if the Hocus Pocus Funkos are at Spirit Halloween store. We're gonna go get my hair dye, right? I found out that I'm not graduating until June because there's no graduation ceremony in December. Apparently, it's only in November, so I can't graduate in December. But which means are, I have to wait till June. But you are finishing. Yes, I'm done in December, but I can't actually graduate and walk across the stage like Mother wants me to, even though I don't want to do that because that's a lot. You know what? Of waiting. You know what? The damn thing. You know what? <laughs> this is more for you than me. You're absolutely right. You're damn right it's about me. Okay, but this means <laughs> I get to dye my hair purple again, so I'm kind of happy about it. So apparently it. it's all about you. It always resorts back to me, okay? So Everything no, is about it's me. it's about me. So I can cry as you go across. Basically, the stage. yeah. Halloween on one side, Christmas on the other. Mom's too busy shopping still to pay attention to me. Ah! Mary Sanders is in the house. Two out of three. And she has a little vacuum. <laughs> hair dye acquired. We're gonna do your hair too, right? You can put a little bit in it. That's on film. 
It's Thursday. <laughs> I'm better because I have to go back to school and it's raining. And it's supposed to be 21 degrees, but it's raining. I do not understand. Not you go for me. Absolutely not. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> it's two classes, one day. Yeah, but I have a test in one and then oh, five hours in between. And then the last one's not You need not to bad. find a place to sleep. That's not a thing on That's campus. Class. I'm on the train now and it sucks because I have to study for this test that I have in the first period. It's all about like cognitive appraisals and how you react with your emotions and blah, 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 blah. Which is great, fine, it's easy stuff and it's only like five questions so it's not that big of a deal. I had these grand plans that I was gonna study yesterday at work and then work some shit so no studying happened. So I have to study today on the train, which means I don't get to read until after class. So it's now 11 o'clock at night, just got home from Toronto. I sucked. I randomly started crying in the middle of campus for no good reason. Just had like an emotional breakdown. So I came home, I made nachos, were delicious. My quiz went well, I'm pretty sure I got four out of five or five out of five on it. So that, that's a good plus, but I'm tired. So I'm gonna go to bed and um, hopefully tomorrow doesn't suck. Okay, bye. Today is Friday. Yesterday sucked, so today is not gonna Why suck. Why did yesterday suck? Because I had an emotional breakdown in the middle of campus for no good reason. I was just like crying and it was just a huge mess. But today's gonna be a good day because we get to go to two of the best places. We're going to Balls Falls, which means candy apples and tents full of food. Then we're also going to Book Outlet because there's a huge giant sale and I have no self-control and my self-care includes iced coffee and buying more books that I don't need because I have 300 on my TBR. Why are you feeling sad about your life? I don't know. I had an emotional breakdown, so now I need to uncontrollably buy more books. It's the way life works. Self-care. Yes, self-care. Mom. But more importantly, food. Right. Mom got a gross hot dog. Yeah. But I got fries, so I'm happy. How do you feel about your hot dog? It's just a hot dog. But have you bought anything yet? I did. What did you buy? I bought the ornaments. Mom bought one ornament. Two? Two ornaments. I bought her a birthday present. I bought it. Yeah, but I'm paying you for it because they didn't take debit cards on my fault. We got this. We get one every single year. Mother, how do you feel? <laughs> Mom doesn't want to haul with me. Can't we haul at home? <laughs> Mom's embarrassed. Hey mom, what are you buying? Nothing, it's a surprise. It's my present. Every year mom buys us an ornament for our Christmas tree and that one's mine this year. Look, it's my favorite tent with all the food in it. It's the only reason I come to this festival. Pretty much. It's the best dip ever in the entire world. We just bought so much food, <laughs> so much food, and I am so happy. We bought four boxes of cookies, five dips. What else did we buy? Oh, chickpeas? No, soybeans, not chickpeas, soybeans. What and else? Fa fava beans? Fava, I don't know what that is, but they're good, so not honey. mad about it. Honey. And honey. And honey. Oh, sweet. Now oh. which is better, food, puppies, or book outlet? Puppies. How many books did we buy, Mom? I bought none. I bought 20. I spent $42 on $40, 20 books. $40 plus tax. That's good. Book yes. outlet. Yes, and where are they you going? Go. Where are they going? On my floor. <laughs> <laughs> so mom went to go donate some of our stuff that we don't want anymore, and um, I, uh, I bought more books. <laughs> so we're now at 25 books today. Are you on a book buying ban? Probably. Am I going to? No. Freaking excited for this. <laughs> You've been looking forward to it all day? Yes. <laughs> Yours looks way better than mine. Becoming a great princess again. Mom sectioning off my hair. Then great princess status will be achieved. Right, 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 right. We're halfway through? Question mark? Oh gosh, no. Oh. We're like a one sixth of the way through. It's gonna take forever. It is. Still going. How long has it been, Mama? I don't know what time we started. Like 1.30-ish? Okay. 2.25. 2.25.
It's almost been an hour. We're halfway through though, right? No, you're like on the last little bit. We're almost done. Yeah. I'm a beautiful butterfly. Wow, you really did get the... Wow, nice. I got you good. Thank got you. you all over your ears. Here is the finished product. I'm so happy. I'm a great princess again. I totally realized like I haven't updated you guys on my reading pretty much all week. So I figured I should probably do that now. I didn't mention this earlier, but I'm reading Uninvited by Sophie Jordan. This is one of the books my mom picked for my TBR. If you haven't watched my October TBR, then go watch that to see everything I'm supposed to be reading. I'm almost done this. I'm on page like 300 and I think there's like 384 pages. It's okay. Like it's nothing amazing. It's about this girl named Davy who gets tested for the homicidal tendency gene. If you possess this gene then one day you're gonna like kill somebody or like you have the tendency to be violent. She gets tested and then her friends and her boyfriend ditch her and it's basically her trying to like come to terms with having this gene. And then for a good idea I'm on page like 80 ish and it's getting better than the first 30 pages were but it's still nothing like that's grabbing my attention and like making me need to read it like I'll finish it eventually but I'm not like dying to pick it up you know what I mean so plans for tonight I have a test on Tuesday so I should probably study for that am I going to probably not I also have a midterm on Thursday am I gonna study for it probably not I also have a bunch of readings I'm supposed to do am I gonna do those probably not so we're probably just gonna read or lie in my bed most likely just lie in my bed <laughs> it's actually now Monday here in Canada it's Thanksgiving weekend so yeah so yesterday I went to work and then I went to Ricardo's Nono's house for like their dinner so I realized I didn't even end the vlog or film there at all so gonna end the vlog now and hopefully you enjoyed it i didn't really update a lot on reading but you know that's okay i probably won't have another reading vlog for a couple of weeks because i'm in midterm season right now so things are a little hectic but i'll see you in my next video goodbye